welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of the FabFitFun Winter 2020 edit sale. I am here with my tips, tricks, and product reviews video. If you are new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen and I go through some of the tools that I use to help me pare down my cart. And then I show you what's actually in my cart. And then I go through the entire sale and I talk about as much as I can possibly remember about all of the products that are available in the sale. I don't claim to be an expert on this. I just really enjoy making these videos and interacting with you. So if you have any input on anything that I say, please feel free to comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into recording my computer screen. Okay. So so here we are in my computer screen and the first thing I'm going to show you that is one of the ways that I help myself decide if I'm going to purchase something or not is I check to see if it's cruelty free and my favorite cruelty free reference site is this site cruelty-free-kitty.com. I will put links to all the websites that I mentioned in the description box below. This is my favorite reference. If you choose to use this as a way to figure out whether or not you want to purchase something or not, this is not the only place you can check. Uh, there's also PETA, there's Cruelty Free Internet, excuse me, there's Cruelty Free International, and there are others out there. So just find one you like. This one I like really, I really like this one, mainly because of the ease of use, and also it is fairly strict and very, very thorough and investigative in their approach. They actually reach out to every company and get answers for themselves uh, so that they can determine whether or not they've decided that they're cruelty free. This was a blog started by a woman named, oh, I always think I should give her a shout out and I should check before I start filming. Anyway, if I stumble on it in this video, I will give her a shout out, but she works very, very hard on her website. So anyway, here's the homepage. If you scroll down just a little bit, there is this search box right here. I'm just going to do something that I know off the top of my head, Kate Somerville. So here it says Kate Somerville is cruelty free. And so that's great if that works for you. But if you look down a little bit further, um, it says they're owned. Oh, you know what? I've been saying all along that they've been owned by Esther Lauder, but I was incorrect. They're owned by Unilever. Unilever is a company that's not cruelty free. So I try my best not to purchase from companies, even if they're cruelty free, if they're owned from a company that's not cruelty free, just because it's a good way. Honestly, it's a good way to save money, but it's also a good way to try to you know, support truly cruelty free brands. I'm not perfect. I don't always adhere to it, but this is something that helps me delete things from my cart. Uh, so this is a great way to do that. So that's one thing that I do. And then another thing that I do, and this is, would be especially helpful if you have sensitive skin. I like to look at ingredients. There are a select few ingredients that I've decided that I don't want to use for myself. Sorry, I think I'm trying to speak too quickly. <clears throat> So skincharisma.org. This is a great way to check ingredients and start to learn about ingredients. Again, especially if you have sensitive skin, this would be amazing for you. I don't, but I think that I would check this site all the time for anything I was interested in using. So let's go to the sale. I will show you how to check ingredients. I'm just going to grab the ingredients for the Moroccan gold leave-in mask. Oh, I can already tell you there's a formaldehyde releaser in this, so if you don't want to use those, I uh, don't use those. So we're going to copy the ingredients, uh, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to the Cosmetic Analyzer. We're going to click that, and we're going to drop those ingredients into this box here. And we're going to click Analyze Product. And the great thing about this site quickly is you can create a login for yourself and you can have your own profile and you can make it so that it remembers ingredients that you want to steer clear of and it will flag those ingredients for you. Uh, so <clears throat> here is the analysis. It, If you scroll down just a little bit, you can see that it checks off some of the commonly looked for ingredients or uh that yeah, checks that off here. And then if you go a little bit lower, there are uh, skin type uh, ratings, uh, and then whether or not there are higher or moderate risks to certain ingredients. And this actually has a lot of ingredients that I personally would not use for myself. Um, and 
here is the more detailed breakdown of each ingredient and on the left side they have the EWG rating and <clears throat> in the column to the right they have the cosmetics ingredients review rating. Now the EWG is the environmental working group so if you're here and you're wondering why something gives say DMDM Hydantoin a 7. So it has a 7 on the EWG site. You can go to EWG and read a little bit more about it. This is the main homepage for EWG. And if you go down here and you click visit Skin Deep, again, all the links will be in the description box below. And then you wanted to search, say, DMDM um, Hydantuin. Here it is. And then you can go and you can look for it and you can read more about why it is rated so poorly. So you could also go to the Cosmetics Ingredients Review and learn what they have to say about it. This one is a little bit um, more credible in my eyes because they actually quote medical journals. So we're going to look up DMDM Hydantoin, search it, and then here you'll see there are actually uh, published peer-reviewed articles about the ingredient that you can read by written by doctors. So those are that's how you can check and get to know ingredients. It feels overwhelming, but honestly, as you start to do it and the more you do it, it you can kind of quickly catch on and skim an ingredients list and decide if something's for you or not for you. This right here, I know it happens to be a common skin irritant, so if you have sensitive skin, you would steer clear of that potentially. Um, anyway, so that's another thing that I do to help me decide if I want to purchase a product or not. So now to FabFitFun and the FabFitFun site, I also like to look at the forum. I love going to the forum. Sometimes people can get a little catty on there and, um, you know, let's not forget ourselves, but uh, for the most part, everyone is super supportive and awesome, and it is a great space to get to know other members of FabFitFun, and you can talk about the products and recommend them or not recommend them. So these are the three threads that I'm following for this sale. There's not a lot of activity this time, which is kind of understandable because we're right between Christmas and New Year's. But that aside, I am following this one. This is something that the FabFitFun staff themselves post every single sale, um, every single add-on and edit sale. I don't know about the other sales that they have started to have, but this is one where you can go on and you can ask directly uh, questions about the sale. There are often so many mistakes about the products listed in the sales that you know you need to go in and clarify or you know there's just not enough detail and you want to ask more questions. You can go here and hopefully get an answer. I noticed in a couple of sales that sometimes they wouldn't really answer but it seemed like they had a turnover in the staff who were monitoring this thread and it seems to be getting a little bit better. And then the next one I'm following is uh, just edit carts. There, people often uh, start this thread, and then this is a community forum. I don't see you don't see staff on this one, and then people often post this one, where it says just general product reviews of the products available. So there aren't a lot of posts, like I said, but I have read all of the comments in each of these threads, and so I'm going to summarize what I remember from reading them in my review as I go through this. So again, links will be in the description box below. So I will link all of those forum threads in the description box. Now to the sale. Um, <clears throat> to navigate the sale, there are a couple of things I want to point out. You should definitely make use of this search function, especially, you know, if you are one of those people and you're so frustrated because you jump on and even still this sometimes doesn't work, but at least it gives you a fighting chance. But you jump on and you know you want to go for something and you get to it and it's out of stock and it's like two minutes after the sale opened. A lot of people will jump on and use the search function and go for that thing like the unhide blanket, for instance. Everyone's after it. Everyone wants it. But the unhide blanket, people will go on and they'll search here and they'll bring it up and they'll just max out on the blanket. So definitely make use of that feature to jump on initially, especially, and try to snag what you know is gonna be in the sale and you're excited to grab. 
Another thing that I want to point out that a lot of people um, do in order to snag something that is out of stock that they really, really want for themselves that you might not know about it, especially if you're a newer member, is favoriting items. So say you really want this Sigma brush, you really want this Grown Alchemist exfoliant, you hit these hearts on the top right corner of the, the listing and that adds it to your favorites and your favorites live right here. So if you click on my favorites, you'll see all the things that you hearted. And if I were looking for that brush, I'd be so excited because it would be right here and I would hit the plus sign and I would get, grab my brush. And it, oh my gosh, the feeling I used to get when I was a newer, newer member, when I actually snagged something that I was waiting for. Um, I, I don't, what am I talking about? I still get that feeling, but I will say that I am, I've been a member for over two years now and I am much less, I'm much more calm when it comes to the sales, I think. I used to get really crazy excited and into it. I'm much more calm now and I um, am much better about not overspending. Um, I, you know, I go to my stash and I kind of just assess where I'm at and what I actually need. You know, if I need a cleanser, I used to buy like three cleansers, but why do I need to buy three? Anyway, that's probably just me. Um, so that's another tip that I would recommend absolutely using is adding things to your favorites in order to get them. And then you can just hit refresh over and over and over until it pops up. Let's see, I hit refresh. Maybe something else I've been waiting for will pop up. Oh, this thing. So this has okay reviews, but anyway, I'm, I probably won't get that, but I'm really intrigued by that product. Um, okay, so that's it. Those are all of my tips as far as navigating the sale. And then I have some general things to say as we go through the products that I will mention. Um, my opinions about certain things are kind of evolving. So um, anyway, here is what is in my cart so far. I am down to $166, which is really great and it's getting easier and easier to pair it on my cart. I am going to get this. I love the idea of it. What it is is I had to actually search it. So let's search it and see if we can find some images. But you can use it to not only carry your mat, your yoga mat, like this. So it folds out like this. Let me see if I can make that bigger. If, and okay, so it's like this. See that it, to hold your yoga mat, and then you can use it as a mat, a, as a strap, a yoga strap when you're actually doing yoga. So it is multi-purpose. Uh, so I'm super excited to see that. I do like yoga, and I need to do more exercise in general. Um, my husband get gets cold sores. I thought I would just grab this to see if he uh, if that could help him at all. So far, I haven't gotten one, but being married to someone who gets cold sores, you know, maybe I'll end up getting them too and I'll need it. We've been together for almost six years, so hopefully not ever. Anyway, they look uncomfortable. Okay, <laughs> so now this Dermalect Runway Ready Luxury Foot Treatment. This is getting really great reviews all over the forum and I just figured I would go ahead and add it. One person on the forum did point out that this is on the Ulta site for $6.25. Yeah, here. So if you're on the verge of placing an Ulta order and you want to get this, you might as well just toss this in your cart from here and then um, uh, you'll save 75 cents. So I don't know what the deal is with this $25 retail value. I checked and it's the same size. So. Who knows what that's about the fruitia this is also for my husband he i bought the peach one a couple of sales ago and he loves it he you know the scent, scent is fine he's okay with the scent but actually he has crazy dry hands i've purchased lotions for him did not think that this would be the one i didn't even offer it to him because it smelled like peaches, <laughs> but he has been using it on his hands religiously and it's the one lotion and he likes it a lot. So I'm getting this for him. He likes it because it 
doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel annoyingly greasy, it doesn't take long to sink into his skin if he feels like it's actually doing something, probably because he likes it enough to continue to use it. So that really, really says something. This is in the fragrance Quince, which I had to look up, and it apparently is very similar to a pear. So I'm getting this for him. Hopefully it comes in time before he uses up all of the peach one. Um, this is also for my husband. <laughs> I'm getting a lot from my husband this time around. So this is supposedly really great for short hair and I really love living proof products for myself. This is an example where I'm not very good at uh, adhering strictly to being cruelty free. Living proof is also owned by Unilever. I, um, I have to say though that for my hair, I have seen some people say that living proof products aren't, aren't great for their hair, but living proof products work great for my hair. Anyway, so I'm getting this one for my husband. It has good reviews. Not a lot of reviews, but it has good reviews. And then the Sigma brushes. I'm really curious to try one of the Sigma brushes. So I did have to look these up also just to see more angles of what the shape of the brush actually looks like. And I ended up watching some videos. There was this video that I watched. Let's see. I'm going to mute. And I want to see if I can uh, just show you what the shape of the brush looks like. I actually don't think I'm going to get this brush. I think, so there it is. Let's see if she shows us. So that's the front. I want to see, I want you to see the side in case you haven't seen it and you're interested in these brushes. So that's a little bit there there so that's what this brush is like it's got that angle and it's round across the uh yeah you can see that much better um so that's that brush i don't think i'm gonna get this one i think i want the other one it looks similar but more versatile so let's let's bring this one up i want to show you so logical harmony the woman who does uh, logical harmony which is a website that's also dedicated to talking about cruelty free beauty and all of that she did a video where she showed this one she showed the brush too to sheena combs so yeah she talks about cruelty free beauty and lifestyle so there's the brush and I wanted to show you, see, it looks like a triangle, it looks like a pyramid. And she uses it similarly with her powder. Let's see. I want to see where she shows us really closely what the brush looks like. Sorry, this is taking some time, but it's very important. <laughs> if, especially, you can skip ahead, but if you're interested in these brushes, there. I guess maybe I was already there. I actually don't remember it looking quite like that. It does look like it's shaped like a pyramid. So she does her makeup first. I'm sorry this is taking a little while. I think you could get a good idea. I'll link this video below as well so you can kind of see it in action. It just looks really great because you can use it to blend in concealer. Now I feel like as I'm watching these again, now I feel like I want to get both because this one looks better for blending in concealer and foundation and the other one looks really good for powder. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm really inclined to get both. So this one has like more of a p overall pyramid shape to the top and the other one's good for powder. So this one's really good for foundation and concealer. Ay. Anyway, so those, those there, I st obviously I'm still, still undecided, but those are better pictures of what the shapes of the top of the brushes look like. Um, so I also have this in my cart. This is kind of one of those things where it's $4, so I'm like, why not? But I don't want to buy something just because it's $4. That's not a good reason. This, I remember it has, I think like a solid four stars on Ulta, uh, nope, on Sephora. And the thing about this though is 
that you want to be aware of is that once you click it and, and once you click it out, once you push out the product, you can't retract it like a, you can with a chapstick. That's a big complaint on the Sephora site. And that actually would probably end up irritating me too. But if you do get this, uh, just be aware of that. It looks really, really lovely though otherwise, but that was the biggest complaint on Sephora. This I used in the cell, my cellar water. I had an ex, a sample of it, and I was using it as not only as like a makeup remover, but also just as an alternative to washing my face in the morning, and you know something that's a little more than water in the morning. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So I was thinking about it getting a micellar water. I had never really gotten it. And it's also a lot better to use these in reusable rounds or makeup erasers than to use makeup wipes to get um, your makeup off. So that's another reason why I want to look into getting micellar water. I don't know that I'm going to get this. The Neogen products didn't have best reviews across the board. Some of their products had good reviews and some didn't have the greatest reviews. This one had kind of mixed reviews. I believe it was on Yes Style that some people, I don't need to take you to look at reviews every time I look at something. I'm doing too much of this, I think. Um, but this, this product, um, some people said that it was sticky and another person said that they just didn't like it and they gave it to a friend um, this this person said that their eyes it burnt their eyes a little bit but uh, I thought when I looked at it I kind of liked the ingredients it had something called Asiatic acid in it which I had never heard of before and it has like some really good properties like anti-inflammatory property properties and I just that was appealing anyway <laughs> going on and on about that. So I'm thinking about getting that one, or I may just find a good micellar water. If you have a, a suggestion on a good micellar water, leave me a comment. I would love to know. Um, and then I've decided that I am going to give to the charities that they have in each of the sales. So I'm giving $3. I usually pick the $5 option, but they didn't have it this time. <clears throat> I absolutely love this Grown Alchemist product. It is my favorite Grown Alchemist product. And one thing I want to mention if you are eyeing it is that Grown Alchemist a lot of times doesn't actually smell. No, that's a gross generalization. I'm going to stop myself. This one doesn't smell like pink grapefruit or glucomanon. Glucomanon is just konjac, so that doesn't, I don't know that it has a scent, but it's the same thing as konjac, which is a root that's used in um, a lot of skincare. But this smells like patchouli. You'll see right here, it has patchouli in it. That is the strongest scent in it. So if you don't like musky scents like patchouli, I would stay away from this. If you're okay with patchouli and you like creamier washes, face washes, then this would be for you. It's a creamy consistency with exfoliators in it, exfoliating beads in it. I'm not sure what the exfoliating bead is, but um, <clears throat> yes. So this is my, oh, it also has sandalwood. So very musky, very, very musky. Um, I think it smells wonderful. I think it smells herbal and amazing and I love it and I love using it and my husband loves it too. Um, <laughs> without getting pedicures these days, I'm not getting pedicures during coronavirus, so my feet need help. So I'm going to get these and hopefully they will be helped. <laughs> um, I am a fan of cuddle duds. I actually just what did a cuddle dud Black Friday haul on Kohl's and I just like the material they use. There's like the perfect amount of stretch and coziness to their, um, items and I really like them so I was excited to see the them in the sale and it's really funny I hadn't thought about them in years and then I decided to look for them on Black Friday and then they show up in a Fit fun sale so I'm getting these <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna get this this uh, some people on Sephora's site 
said that it really, really works, and then others complained about it being leaving you really oily, or one person said that they rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and couldn't get the product to start depositing. So I um, often find that milk products on Sephora, are the reviews seem to be fairly mixed usually for their stuff, but they're on Sephora. So if you're curious about getting anything from them, Sephora is your place to go check out what people's thoughts are on their products. Okay, that's my cart right now. It will definitely change by the time the sale is over, but if it changes, it will be probably mostly because I deleted stuff, not that I added anything. So that's pretty much what I will be getting, pretty much. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go to the entire sale and I'm gonna do my best to tell you what I remember about each of the products available. So, Spongels, Spongelis, not sure how to pronounce it. I've been kind of hard on these in the past and I do still think that they're kind of a wasteful product. I do have some sub subscriber friends who have found ways to reuse the sponges once they are done using them in the shower. So that's pretty awesome. So there are ways to use them again. Um, as far as people's reviews, I've never used one, but what I have seen people say is that they love them. They're very, very well loved and that some people do think they're kind of rough at first. So in the beginning, they will use them on their feet to kind of break it in and then they can use it on the rest of their body. Um, if you're curious about what scent to get, go to the forum and ask the question. You know, you can also do on the forum, you can do polls. You can list something and have people vote for which thing they think you should get. And you can get really quick and easy input that way. So that's sponge jellies. If I don't know anything about something, I'm not, I'm just going to gloss over it. I have seen people not say the best things about this particular foot mask. Uh, this Moroccan Gold Series leave-in mask, you saw I used the ingredients as a uh, way to show you the Skin Charisma site. It has uh, a formaldehyde releaser and it has some um, ingredients that I have learned are not good for sensitive skin. So if you're very sensitive, I would that would suggest steering clear of this, especially if you know you're, <laughs> you're sensitive to those ingredients. I also find this to be very very heavily perfumed that aside people are people love the moroccan gold series stuff they are so excited to see it again in the sale on the forum they're really excited to see it again in the sale and they are after it um probably more so the hair mask that's available than this one i've used this one like i said and what the other thing functionally is that the it has a really wide spray so I would need to hold it really really close to my hair to make sure I didn't lose much product but how it made my hair looked it was okay it was okay I am in the minority people love their stuff though I thought it I thought it smelled way too strong and perfumed I didn't I thought that it worked in my hair just okay I didn't like the sprayer and it has some ingredients in it that I just want to just shy away from so it's not a product for me living proof I uh, people with fine um, limp hair that can get kind of oily tend to dislike living proof products because they feel like it weighs down their hair I would say that I'm not surprised to hear that I have very dry curly hair that used to be fluffy so but a uh, postpartum I, I did have some hair loss but my hair is changing and I have to figure that out hope it'll probably just grow back and go back to the same way but right now it's different anyway I don't want to digress so for me the living proof products work great where they work really well but if you lean more toward the finer um, side of things then they might not be so much for you um here is the moroccan gold series treatment mask people love this they love it it smells the same as the leave-in uh spray that i just talked about i don't see offhand a formaldehyde releaser but i do see 
potential skin irritants. Um, and it has the same exact scent that I didn't like. So it felt very perfumed, heavily fragranced, and it was a fragrance that I don't like. Obviously, if you like the fragrance, it can be heavily fragranced, but it's not for me. Um, it felt like artificially fragranced. Like when I was talking about the Grown Alchemist fragrance, those are all from natural ingredients. This smells very artificially fragranced, in my opinion. But if you're eyeing it, most people say that they absolutely love it. So there you go. Um, I have this and it is a terry cloth headband so if that's something that you're excited about it is fine it works great you know for washing your face and doing masks and whatnot i am just gonna like i said if i don't know about something i will just kind of breeze over it so i'm sorry if i skip something that you're excited to get someone's opinion on i've used this and if you have some sort of real scalp issue or pretty bad dandruff or you know some sort of dermatitis then a scalp scrub could probably do you really good i tried this there was absolutely no reason for me to try it i don't have issues with my scalp it was very awkward to try to figure out uh, getting it down to my scalp was really challenging. It is a little bit uh, not sticky, but it's just kind of hard to work in. It's very it's not stiff. I, it, I'm having difficulty finding the right word, but I had trouble getting it down to my scalp. And some people say that it works to like flip your hair over and work it in that way. There are people who really like this. I have kind of a love-hate with relationship with R and Co in general. Um, I wouldn't recommend this unless you have an issue with your scalp that you need help with. Um, and also, if you have an issue with your scalp that you need help with, you're probably experiencing issues with your hair growth. So you can inspire hair growth if you can heal that. But if you have healthy hair growing in, I can't imagine it being very good for your hair to rub granules on it. Our hair is very, can be very fragile. Fragile. Um, anyway, that's my opinion on that. Uh, Invisibobbles. I tried them and I liked them better than the old school, you know, elastics that we were using. I have recently tried the scrunchies, the silk scrunchies, silk or satin scrunchies, and I am on team scrunchie much more than I am on team Invisibobble now. Uh, so I would suggest giving those a try. People did talk about the face masks that are available in these sales. I think they were talking about the eight other reasons ones, but people were saying in general the face masks they've gotten aren't that great um, from these sales. So I, I don't know. That was just a little conversation I observed on the forum. I haven't tried them myself. Um, I don't know. Okay, AG Hair Care Fast Food. This is a wonderful leave-in conditioner. I did see someone on the forum say that she didn't like it, but she also didn't like living proof products. So I think she might kind of fall in the category of having um, hair that can get a little greasier and um, maybe finer. But anyway, I think that this is a wonderful leave-in conditioner. A lot of people really do like it. It's available at Ulta. So if you wanted to go look at thorough reviews, you could go to the Ulta listing and see what people had to say. Um, it is it makes my hair feel really really soft when I use it as with all leave-in conditioners when my hair dries I always have kind of a little bit of frizz left that I have to tackle with another product once my hair is dry which is no big deal but uh, this is a wonderful leave-in conditioner so there if that's your thing I would recommend this um, it does have a little bit of a funny smell it's a good smell but there's something about it that reminds me of cough syrup um, but it's a very good leave-in conditioner. Um, oh, here's the cuddle duds. I have to decide if I want to get these too. Just as I mentioned, I like I'm a cuddle duds fan. I hope that we can see some clothes from cuddle duds. Mystery bundles, never, never again. There are some people who just love them, have good luck with them, don't mind getting dud stuff. Uh, I have gotten three, I think, and I've never 
I've never thought it was worth it. So, uh, it's definitely a gamble if you if that's if you're into that. I I like watching people unbox mystery bundles to see what they got. Some people get great stuff. Um, I saw somebody say they thought that this was really really rough. Um. But I like the daily concept stuff. I think it's simple. I think it's affordable. And I, I, I like their stuff. Um, people tend to say this is very, very, very effective. If you use it correctly, you're supposed to spray it into the bowl before you go number two. <laughs> and it's supposed, supposedly it works. Um, okay. Uh, I think I remember... I, I think I remember saying someone saying that these weren't great. But scratch that I don't remember for sure um people really really like the lawn dress the people that I have seen speak up that they don't like it say that they don't like the smell but most people say they love the smell so if you um if you're one of those people who is sensitive to fragrances it is very fragranced and this might not be for you here's the description of the scent um the way they describe it, it smells. It seems like something I would love the smell of. Actually, I love jasmine and I love musk. Anyway, so just there's a little bit of a a heads up there. Otherwise, it is made of really, really good ingredients and it's well loved in general. I have used this. I hated it at first, and then uh, by the time I was done using it, I thought it was just okay. This is available on the Ulta site, and it has a solid four stars. You can go and read what other people thought. I uh, do think, you know, if you're if you're someone with a different hair type and you don't want something that's as moisturizing because it could weigh your hair down, then you could like this. I also just didn't like the scent very much, but the scent grew on me and I was fine with it by the end. Um, but this is not a shampoo and conditioner that's for me, but I think it could be for, like I said, I think it could be for people who don't need as much moisture rising in their shampoo and conditioner. Um, I, it just really didn't do too much for me. Let's see. I just wanted to read that description a little bit, but I don't need to. Okay. Um, I have yet to try any Paracone stuff, but I remember when their no makeup line started showing up in sales. I didn't read very much that was a stellar about the line. So I, ooh, I want the hand. Oh, of course it's out of stock. Um, I also, I have the foot version of this in my cart and I want the hand one too. Uh, okay. Oh, the Dime Beauty stuff. Very intriguing. Very intriguing. They're all about using, uh, really natural ingredients. And I showed you the EWG earlier in this video. They, their website, you should go check out their website. It's a really cool little company and they claim to use only ingredients that have a one rating from the EWG, which means that they are, you know, considered to be as harmless as possible. Um, and uh, some good things were said about their products on the forum as well. I was intrigued to get this, but all of these eyelash serums, if you stop using them, your eyelashes will go back to the way they were. And I don't know that I'll use eyelash serums the rest of my life. Anyway, have you used an eyelash serum? Comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, this is a really well-loved moisturizer. People are... People say it's worth it. People that have used it, that have fallen in love, will pay full price, and they can't believe that they've paid full price. That they can't believe that they paid that much for a moisturizer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. People love it. I would get it, but I do have a a, a 0.5 ounce size of it that I have yet to try. So really well loved. I love Elemis products. This is Living Proof. This is a hair mask that I have used, and it is. Again, the best hair. Okay, so Living Proof products, again, they work well on my hair. This hair mask is the best hair mask I've ever used on my hair. I have noticed the most um, results after using this one. It is 
so good in my opinion. So if you have dry curly hair, I would I would say this is a great hair mask to use. I, I remember using it, starting to use it, and the first few times I used it thinking, wow, my hair is really, really looking good. And then I realized, oh, I used that hair mask last night. So anyway. <laughs> um, this is interesting. There's a Daily Concepts uh, body towel wrap, or, or I forget what it's called. Uh, it's a towel, a Daily Concepts towel that has buttons at the top that will stay up. So you could get that instead of this, if, depending on which works better for you. And Laundress, I already talked about Laundress and I was talking about them in general. Again, I haven't used them. Um, oh, I looked up reviews for this and I can't recall offhand. Uh, it's available on Sephora. So if you wanted to see, you could look. Oh, Philip Kingsley. I went to the website to learn more about this brand, and Philip Kingsley was, uh, um, excuse me, lived from 1930 to 2016 in London. He got started as a hairstylist in London when he was like, I don't know, a teenager or something, working for his uncle, I think. And he ended up going to school, school of school for trichology. Actually, I've never heard that said out loud. It's the school for hair, really. Um, and he is known for coining, or according to the website, it says he coined the term bad hair day and that he created products for people like Audrey Hepburn for like movie stars and royalty and stuff and was really, really well revered. And his daughter is taking over the company and is also a hair, hair stylist or a, a trichologist was the word they were using. And that's interesting. I mean, trichology is to hair what dermatology is to skin is what they said. And it's true. Uh, so uh, in general, their products uh, had not very many reviews, but some decent reviews. So I that, that definitely spiked my interest in their company, uh, what I read on their about page. I love reading the about pages of companies. If a brand speaks to me, then I really would like to try, even if there aren't very many reviews about their products. Uh, there were mixed reviews on this deodorant on the, gosh, Ulta or Sephora. I never, I never remember which one. Um, Natura Brazil, Brazilian company. I used a hair mask from them and it was decent. It came from a cause box and it was a decent hair mask. Smelled good. Worked okay. Um, that's all I have to say. I have this palette. It's a lovely palette. Very versatile. You can use, you know, these on your eyes if you wanted to. Um, a subscriber friend sent it to me. She was going to get rid of it. And I was like, um, can I have it? Uh, hi, Lauren. Is <laughs> Lauren's her name. Um, okay. And then... I, okay, so jewelry, I often, I used to be really hard on the Fab Fit Fun jewelry, and I'm letting up a little bit. I just, if, I highly suggest, if you haven't seen my videos before, if you have, you're sick of hearing me say this, but I highly, highly suggest looking at what the jewelry is made of before purchasing it, and even if it's made of something that's not quite as expensive. It just bothers me when it says that the retail price is something like over a hundred dollars and it's made of some like, uh, you know, gold plated metal or something is what it can say or gold plated brass. And that just annoys me, but it can still be perfectly fine. But if you're sensitive to metals, especially definitely, uh, take a look at what materials the jewelry is made out of stainless steel is fine in my book. Um, and at, and this price is not offensive. <laughs> it's not offensive. Okay, more dime. I talked about them already. I talked about daily concepts in general. I talked about Philip Kingsley. Murad is owned by Unilever, so I often steer clear for that cruelty-free re reason. I also tried a bunch of their stuff early on in being a FabFitFun member, and I kind of, you know, got my fill. Nothing I used from them. Do I feel like I absolutely need to use again? Um, unlike Living Proof, where I found out they were owned by Unilever and I tried not to purchase them, but I just, I've tried so many other hair products and it's Living Proof just works for my hair so well. Um, okay, there's the Paracone MGD again. 
I probably won't get this, but I talked about Milk Makeup in general. They just seem to have mixed reviews on Sephora for their products as a, as a whole. So check their reviews if you're eyeing something. Um, let's see. Stila, these things. I, I didn't read the best, best reviews. Some people said that... Um, the glitter that could get like clumpy and cakey but I you know I wonder if those people had dried out product you know could have worked better for some other people okay love script I went to this company's website and I read about it and the woman who founded it is actually like a relationship like well, actually she, she's like a self-proclaimed love guru like a love doctor like love therapist and it was really really interesting and and so somebody inspired her to create a line of fragrances and she did but that it was really fun to read that website she seems like an interesting lady okay oh here were the face masks that people were really saying were not very good at all like couldn't protect you against the virus. <clears throat> Timeless. Uh, this is an interesting brand. I like what they're about. If you visit their website and read their about page, uh, they do small batch processing, which can ensure quality. And they're all about, you know, uh, high quality skincare doesn't have to be outrageously expensive. And people are saying good things about their products. Uh, a couple of people said that the, they liked this brush a lot, and I didn't know this, but one person said that uh, wooden, wooden um, brushes, wooden bristles, bristles, um, wooden bristles help with static. I did not know that. Christoph Robin, this had some reviews that it wasn't so good, that it was a weird product to use, and it also smells like rose. That's what I remember from this product. They're available on Sephora, so all of their products that are in the sale, you can go check out their reviews on Sephora if you're interested in one of their products. <clears throat> products. <laughs> um, I talked about the Dermalect. People are saying great things. Um, oh, so Sunday Riley. In general, when I was I was really excited to see them start showing up in FabFitFun sales, and then when I researched them the first sale, I was really really bummed because I learned that it was during like for like a couple of years, like 2015 to 2017 or something like that. It they it was uh, discovered that the company was making their employees falsify reviews on different websites, which really bummed me out and just kind of ruined it for me for Sunday Riley even though I do really like their good jeans I had a sample of that and I was tempted to buy it in the I think one of the Cyber Monday or Black Friday sales which I'm sorry I didn't do a video for those sales I was actually feeling kind of down so I just didn't have it in me but um yeah I really wanted to and then I felt I don't know just down so I didn't do it um Okay, Dr. Brandt, they just straight up aren't cruelty-free, so I don't get their stuff. Uh, I don't know anything about that particular product. Even if it's, you know, not cruelty-free, I'll still try to remember to tell you what I've learned about products. Um, let's see. I do like a Hava hand cream, and I haven't tried this scent myself, but I do believe that people like that scent. Um... I talked about Milk Makeup, talked about Timeless, Kate Somerville, owned by Unilever. I haven't used much of their stuff at all. I haven't used either of these products. Wish, I like that brand. I don't know anything about that product. Wish is like a, a sustainable, cruelty-free, um, good ingredient kind of company. Oh, there's another Stila. I was excited to see Jouer, but uh, I didn't find many reviews on this product, and the ones I did find weren't glowing. Electronics, I definitely, I still say that with electronics, just try to buy it from somewhere else, um, unless you're sure what you're getting is 
going to work just from what I hear from people struggling with customer service and FabFitFun and I don't, I don't, I don't know how easy it is to get a replacement item if that takes a long time. Just, you know, if you can get electronics elsewhere, I, I, I would say look elsewhere. Uh, design me. Oh, my same friend I mentioned earlier. She really likes the design me products. I have used, I have tried the gloss me, um, hair oil and leave-in spray and I was pregnant at the time. So I didn't like the smell of them and I ended up giving those to her, but I, uh, I would say it smelled kind of floral. The products themselves were pretty good. Um, this is this has a bunch of silicones so if you do steer clear of silicones in your hair care i wouldn't get this i just noticed that at least in the conditioner um but th these do have good reviews the gloss me the this this set does have good reviews as far as what i saw uh this is a brand that's uh, used in salons a lot um so good reviews there uh, okay, Dr. Brandt talked about them. Beauty Crop, this is a UK company made in China, but I think they're based in UK. I don't know anything about those lip glosses though. I have this. It is no better than like a Burt's Bees tinted chapstick. So uh, five bucks isn't a bad price if you like that kind of thing. I also like the Noto brand. Um, just you know as far as it being a sustainable company but um that's about it uh, i can't speak to this eye cream but i would say that it's not getting stellar reviews on the forum people seem to be recommending other eye creams over that one the granochemist one um let's see So here are a couple more Neogen products. Like I said, I often see really, really good reviews about the K-Beauty products that are in FabFit Fun Sales, but the Neogen products, not all of them have the greatest reviews. So, and you can actually find some on their products. It's kind of hard sometimes to find reviews on the K-Beauty products. People seem to like the um, Amazonian clay formula and the Tarte palettes. This is a super cute, super fun palette. <laughs> Laura Geller. I haven't used this one, but I've used a couple of her products recently and I've been pleasantly surprised. There's Wish again. I already talked about Wish. Billion Dollar Brows. I've used a couple of their products. They're an Orange County based company. Um, I haven't used that one though, so let's move on. There's Milk. I already talked about Milk. I talked about Christoph Robin. Talked about Kate Somerville, Philip Kingsley. Oh, I've looked I looked this up and I couldn't find too too many reviews, and the ones I did were on Nordstrom. They weren't the most glowing. This charger I have, and their chargers can charge faster, yes. It is a very cute charger, though, and I do think it works. The one complaint, I have one complaint about it, and this cute little blue proprietary charger, charging cable it comes with, is super short, so you, I can't use it. It doesn't reach the plug, so I have to plug in an uglier one that doesn't match. That's my only complaint about it. Uh, somebody said that this was awful mascara, the Beauty Guard Oil Free Liquid. Oh, I thought this was a mascara. Maybe it was an eyeliner, um, or maybe they have a mascara available as well. Anyway, she said that it was really dry and flaky. That's what you get for not using oil, I guess. I don't know. Um, Skin and Co. I have this, and I'm so excited to use it. Their Truffle Therapy line. All of those products in that line have really, really great reviews. So if you're looking at a cleansing oil, this one has great reviews. Okay, so this is 21 free, I think. This is a UK brand, yes, UK. 
look at that brown color. I'm gonna, I, I had decided not to get it because I don't know if I would ever use, wear brown. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, ooh, maybe I would wear brown. I am so fickle in these sales. Um, so, uh, there was one person who commented on the nail polishes available in this sale that I saw on the forum, and she said that she liked these nail polishes better than the other ones, which are, uh, the brand's called Sundays. She liked these nail polishes better. She said they thought that she thought that they lasted longer. They're both, like, seem to be equally awesome as far as what they stand for but i believe this was 21 free i think their product nail products from nails inc are 21 free which means they're free from 21 ingredients that are known to potential to be harmful or potentially be harmful i'm i'm i want to see um 21 free yeah they're free for that's that's the most i've ever seen i've seen 18 free but i've never seen 21 free so that's pretty awesome. And the price point is great. Even the retail price, that's like drugstore price. So that's just delightful. Um, bundles are wonderful if you want at least all but one of the items and then you just get the uh, last item for a few more bucks. This is actually a really good deal on this bundle. Um, I think this DNA cream from Dr. Brandt, which was really well loved when I first joined people were all about it I think that alone is like 80 bucks anyway um, okay here's the gloss me hydrating treatment mask uh, would be good to pair with the shampoo and conditioner if you're kind of eyeing that whole set um, Oh, I used this. This was really, really well loved as well, and it smells awful. I don't know who they're fooling unless they changed the scent. I ended up getting it because people were just raving about it despite the scent. One person even said they thought it smelled like burnt tires. I just, I just think that, and I'm sorry if that, that's like kind of a trigger re, uh, the description of, of scent to you. So, um, I think that I said that before and somebody was like, Oh, that brings back bad memories. But, um, anyway, uh, I don't know. I don't know if maybe they changed the scent, but it does not smell like this to me. It, I did a video where I talked about why is this so expensive and why does it smell the way it smells? And I remember I did that video like a year or two ago and it's this, it's this ingredient, this flower oil. Apparently this is a really difficult flower to come by and it takes a lot of it to get very little oil out. So that was why I can't remember what I decided was the ingredient that made it smell like it smells, but it, it smells pretty pungent. I couldn't finish using it. It wasn't worth it to me. I have to say though, I had one of those really like kind of deep, pimples that was there for a long time and after using this for a couple of weeks that did go away so I don't know if it was because of it it could be an amazing oil um anyway it smells very very strong I couldn't do it I couldn't keep doing it uh this I talked about this in one of my very latest product review videos it was my uh Profit from products I'm currently using video that I did recently and this isn't for me it is very very well loved this is another one of those ones that people rave about it and I'm in the minority it has like it's green in color it has kind of like a lightweight clayish very lightweight clay consistency is the best way I can describe it right now and then it has a lot, a lot of exfoliating beads that are very, very fine, like very fine sand. I um, I remember just thinking of it like if you've ever used an exfoliator that uses cranberry seeds, uh, it's like that, just very fine and a lot of them. It is a very intense chemical exfoliating feeling. It has, um, it has, I think, a few different exfoliators in it. I'm trying to look without taking too much time. It has fruit enzyme exfoliators, but I think it also has some AHAs. I'm not seeing it offhand. I'm sorry about that, but it is a very intense exfoliator. 
Um, I have seen people say that their skin turns red and it, it's too much for them also, but it, and it, oh, and it smells like kind of like a nutmeg-y smell, not a bad smell. Uh, it just, it just wasn't for me, but that's my description of the product. Lots of people love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I haven't bonded with Vodial as a brand. Okay, so I talked about the Var, Var, uh, Voa, um, I don't know how to say it, shampoo and conditioner. That doesn't mean there are other, uh, there are other products have really good reviews too. I think even better reviews than the shampoo and conditioner. They're all on Ulta. You can go and check it out. Their products are really well loved and they're clean. I, I believe they're clean. I don't want to. Yeah, they're clean. Oh, it's Canadian. Hi, Canadian friends. Um, I'm, I want to visit Canada one of these days. Um, okay. So their products do have good reviews. <clears throat> Waxy. I, when they first showed up, people really were saying bad things about it and just that it was difficult to use. Um, I did see somebody on the forum this time around say that there was a learning curve, but now they're happy that they bought it and they liked it. So that's kind of a <clears throat> change in tone. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Happy spritz. All I remember about them is they're available at Urban Outfitters. So. Um, Algenist. This didn't have the best reviews. I remember reading one of the reviews of somebody liking it. And I'm talking on Sephora. Um, and she was saying that you it works great paired with their... Uh, their actual cleanser, their actual facial cleanser as a two-step routine. Um, but it didn't have the best reviews on Sephora. Well, now I'm wanting to see what the star rating was. Let's see. Four. Solid four stars. Um, 4.1. Okay. I think that that's pretty decent. When it comes to reviews, I like to see at least four solid stars, but I want it, I want over four solid stars if I haven't used the product. And I like to find reviews on Sephora, Ulta, Ulta. Uh, Influencer is good, a good amount of reviews on Influencer. Um, if I'm going by Amazon reviews, I like to read them thoroughly and make sure if they have negative reviews, it's not just complaints about delays in shipping or products arriving damaged because that can really skew the star rating. But that's kind of what I look for. I don't tend to trust the reviews that are on the company's website themselves. Um, but those are the sites that I usually try to look for reviews on and a good amount of reviews. Revitalash. I was looking at this when I was looking at my cellar waters, and it's interesting. This is a, a company founded by an optometrist. Uh, nope, an ophthalmologist. And so the, the difference is, if you don't know, that an ophthalmologist is an MD, like an, a medical doctor, and an optometrist is an OD, an optometrist doctor. So it's a difference in the intensity of the school that they go through. But uh, so he's an ophthalmologist, which they go through medical school, which is a more intense process. But uh, so, and it's funny because I saw the reviews and a lot of people said that this stung their eyes. <laughs> so go figure, you would think that who better to make something like this than an opt ophthalmologist, but the, so the people reported that their eyes stung when they used it. Um, yeah, I quickly look at the ingredients. I'm not sure what it was. I believe this is a Voir product that has great reviews on Ulta. Oh yeah, they do have a mascara. So I'm not sure what the eyeliner is like. So this Beauty Guard, that I talked about it when I thought the eyeliner was the mascara. So somebody said it was very dry and flaky, that they did not like it. I, I don't see a lot of people saying anything about this, but what I've seen is good. This is K-Beauty. Um, I have used this Terramare product and it's, kind of an odd product it 
it kind of changes as you use it. First, it's kind of like minty smelling or and the the smell changes. It's a very enjoyable product to use. I didn't finish it up, so that does say something about it. It ended up drying up, so I wasn't dying to use it. I enjoyed using it. It was kind of different. It was very jelly-like, uh, and the exfoliating beads were very large. And at first, I can't remember the first scent, but it would kind of evolve. Like, you put it on at first, and it smells one way, and then it ends feeling kind of minty and cooling. It was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I feel like it was kind of like a nice floral scent at first. And I don't love floral, but it was a nice floral that ended on a minty note, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I did enjoy using it. Terra Mare is a lovely organic uh, line, high-end line, uh, or organic. I think it's vegan. It doesn't say vegan here, but cruelty-free at least. Um, I talked about love script. Let's see. I don't know anything about what I'm seeing right now. Um, rock your hair. I saw one person say that their stuff's just not good. I have never been interested in trying it. I don't, don't connect with the brand at all, so I've never wanted to try any of their stuff. I go to the site, the packaging, nothing about it appeals to me, and that's a very superficial reason, but it helps me not spend money, so, um, that's my thoughts on rock your hair and then there was somebody who finally said something on the forum who had used it and said that it, their products weren't good but if you've used them again I don't claim to be an expert on any of this stuff please comment below if something I say doesn't seem right or you totally disagree I am always up for um, being convinced that I should or shouldn't get something let me know what you think okay Luxme, I've said this so many times, the founder of this company died. She was my age, which is 38, and I actually work with some, somebody who's very, very close to her. Um, now, I didn't know. It was kind of a funny story how I found that out, but I don't want to bore you. Here's the other nail polish that I was referring to. This one is 10 free, I believe, so it's free of 10 ingredients that are known to be harmful or known or potential known to be or are potentially harmful that are commonly found in nail polishes but this is the one that the woman on the forum said that she she felt like chipped after just a few days but these colors <laughs> I really like those colors and that price point is not anywhere near as good as the price point for the nails ink one in is free a lot of their stuff is on Sephora. I can't find this line on Sephora, though, for reviews. But uh, Innisfree, people tend to say good stuff about their products. Um, K-Beauty. This is a really uh, well-rated line of products as well. I considered getting this cleansing oil, but I had gone with the uh, Skin & Co. one that I talked about earlier. Yeah, this is a KVD line that people say really good things about as well. Caring. This is Karen Grossman. I always have a good place in my heart for Karen Grossman. It's supposed to be pronounced caring. Cute, right? Karen Grossman. Um, this is a, one of those lines that's founded by a doctor. And I have a special place in my heart for it because it was the like the first sale I ever shopped. And I bought her retinol cream. And it was amazing. It was the first time I used retinol. I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to use retinol again. I'm breastfeeding right now and I just loved it. This, and I also used her cleanser. Um, the one thing about it is they, this, everything I used smelled like lemon, but it was like the lemon that small smells like pledge. So I was, I, I'm one of those people where if uh, something reminds me of lemon pledge, then I'm kind of turned off, but I haven't used the eye cream, but I do think that it's a, a good line. I enjoyed what I used from her stuff, from her line of products. So clothes, 
I am all I, that's one of the things I'm kind of changing my tune about. I'm not going to buy any. I still feel for myself personally, like I, but this is so cute. Um, do they have any of these colors in my size? Uh, so I personally would rather go to a store and try something on or purchase something from Amazon that has free returns in case it doesn't work. Um, just because that fit fun can be, if something goes wrong with the product you receive, I've just seen too many people have too many headaches dealing with them that I wouldn't want to deal with it. But that said, people on the forum seem to be having really good experiences with the quality of the clothes that they receive and, and liking what they receive. So, um, that's nice to see. Uh, here's more of this brand. I didn't look too much into it. This is another K beauty line, the red, st the skin and lab skin and lab. And some of their stuff has really good reviews. You can find reviews for their stuff like on Facetory or yes style or one of those websites that often have K beauty products or yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I feel like I've even tried this and I have nothing to say. I can't remember. Well, that, that says something that I can't really remember and I've even tried it. Um, not very memorable, I guess. Not for me. People love these beaker bottles. I want to say beaker. I don't know what, how you say it. BKR bothers bottles. Um, there's more of our, I haven't tried that one. Levito, great, great line. Made in Israel? Yeah, made in Israel. Uh, clean, cruelty-free, vegan, vegan even. Uh, I don't know anything about that body cream. I've used their foot cream and a hand cream, and I liked them both. Uh, people in general seem to say this works stuff works. <laughs> uh, type A deodorant. I have used it. I do think it actually is very effective. Uh, sometimes when I put it on, I feel like I'm stinky at the end of the day. And I wonder if maybe I just didn't put enough on. You actually squeeze it out. There are some slots at the end of this tube. This is plastic right here and it has slots and you squeeze it out. So it's softer and then you rub it on your underarm. Uh, so I wondered if maybe I didn't squeeze enough out on those days. I know that some people have complained about the packaging. Like when you squeeze, you maybe need to squeeze really, really hard. And I could see if maybe you lived in a really cold climate, if the uh, product had gotten really cold, maybe it would be really hard to squeeze out. I've never had a problem with squeezing the product out though, so I'm not sure why that might have happened. Oh, this is a cute little bundle. Hand cream, the nails stuff, and the vial. Anyway, okay. Um, these videos just get longer and longer when I make them. Uh, let's see. I've seen mixed reviews on the when stuff. Is this K-Beauty? It is. I thought so. Uoma, I remember this is a black owned, a black owned brand, which I think is really important. Um, other than that, I don't know too much about it. Oh, okay. I don't know much about CBD products in general, but I do know that when I first, when I, this first came out, it was CBD. So I'm not sure if they changed the formula to be hemp. But I did purchase it both for my husband and for a coworker. My coworker especially really, really liked it for her knee pain. And she was so grateful to me. She even went out and repurchased it full price. But I, it says hemp now. And I don't, I, I feel like I think that that's a big difference. I'm not sure why. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. But if you're into this, Maybe do some research on that to see if CBD versus hemp is a difference. I just remember it saying CBD before, <clears throat> and now it doesn't. Algenus products. We talked about one Algenus product. They're available on Sephora. 
they do they can have really good reviews on Sephora so check for Sephora <laughs> check Sephora okay um I also don't want to scroll too fast in case you're just using this video to look at what's available on the sale so I'm gonna try to scroll a little more slowly I bought this I was so excited for it I thought I would wear it all the time and it would look more sophisticated having a hair tie or on my wrist bought it haven't worn it once it's really really lightweight and it's actually uh, very very sturdy oh no wonder it's stainless steel um, very very sturdy and super lightweight um, so that's what happened with me with that one I bought a silk pillowcase this I think okay silk front rayon back rayon oh oh rayon and spandex back oh that wouldn't work for me because I flip my pillow over throughout the night all the time but I have my first silk pillowcase and I got it um, as a gift a birthday gift but I had picked it it was it's like 20 it's less than 30 bucks on Amazon for a silk pillowcase and it is great so I don't know that I would I wouldn't I wouldn't spend $59 on a pillowcase that only has a silk front no way no how I don't know do you like these did you get these do you like these I I feel like that's overpriced and why isn't it silk all around <laughs> is my thought process there this is a k-beauty brand which is funny because I saw the name and I would have bet money it was German that's I, I just wanted to point that out this is a Canadian brand that I am very intrigued by. Um, we'll maybe eventually try something of theirs. If it turns out I need something they have available. Very intrigued by this brand. Their website's great and they their products tend to have great reviews. <clears throat> I tried a Shawnee Darden cleanser and it was lovely. I talked about it in a recent FabFitFun product review video. It was a lovely cleanser, not worth the price point. Not even for what I paid in the sale, I don't think, but haven't tried that serum. I find it really interesting that this product is selling out. Do you know anything about this? Because I couldn't find much about it online here's an example of jewelry where I want to point out vermeil is great that is gold plated sterling silver so when you see that and you see this pricing that makes sense that I'm okay with if you're looking at this it's this isn't my style but if you're eyeing this that's a great that, that that's great materials that's great I that makes me happy to see that um, hair tools kind of fall in the same boat as electronics for me although I got a new me straightener on a FabFitFun sale and I love my straightener but it had a ton of reviews online so I was able to feel confident getting it but so if you can't find a lot of reviews on a hair tool that you're looking at I would say just go elsewhere and try to find a hair tool if you really need one um I don't know much about old Hen Henriksen I bought their lip conditioner and I did not like it this image skincare I bought their lip conditioner I'm so disappointed in it I didn't even care to look into that one it made my lips feel drier let's see This is a salon brand, you know, uh, salons can contract with the people who make it and supply it at their salon and they're based in London, based in the UK. Uh, that's all I remember, but I figured I'd share that much. Um, talked about some of the stuff, or at least the brands already. Beauty Break Bakery is another black-owned brand. I feel like it's just important to acknowledge that. Um, 
I did see... Okay, so I was interested in this brand when it first showed up. There's not much online about them, and somebody did speak up on a forum in another sale saying that they did not like their stuff. Just one person. I believe it was this one, the body filter. They thought it was really bad. These products have some really good reviews here and there. I think there are three different products by them in this sale. Uh, the moisturizer had good reviews. I actually didn't look at this one, and then there was another one that didn't have as good reviews. Uh, they're on Amazon. You can look at them on Amazon, and actually on Amazon their prices aren't much more expensive than this. Okay, Sasha Wan, all I remember about them is they're from Sweden, and it's a couple of hairstylists that got together and started a salon. One of them is named Sasha, the other one's named Wan. <laughs> and there you go, Sasha Wan. But their styling cream was an option in a past box. If you got the styling cream, let me know what you think of it. There's the night cream of the Glow 24K. This is the one I believe that people are saying pretty good things on Amazon about it. And I think it retails, I think it's available for like $44 on Amazon. Um, more Caring G or Caring. Let's see. Oh, Graydon Skincare. This is Canadian. This is another one like the Huna that I talked about earlier where I'm very intrigued. I am intrigued to get this. Uh, but it has retinol, although it's botanical retinol, so I don't know if that's okay if you're breastfeeding. Nobody knows, but I'm very intrigued by the Graydon Skincare line. Um, yeah, I really want, I would like to try this actually, but I'm going to avoid retinol for now. Um, I don't tend to go for home stuff, um, primarily because my husband is, to be honest, the better homemaker. He's the cook. He is, he's just better at that stuff. Uh, I haven't used the Sinage product, but I haven't been terribly impressed by the Sinage products that I have used. Oh, maybe this was the moisturizer that had good reviews on Amazon. Anyway, again, their stuff's on Amazon. You can find reviews there. This I was really intrigued by, and if you go to their site, their site's super cute. I like what they're about. They have someone swatching it. Of course, it's a fair-skinned woman who's swatching it, so there's not a lot of rep representation there. It would have been really cool if they had, like, a side-by-side -side of a fair skin, a medium skin, and a deep skin person trying these swatches, but the formula looks nice, and it's just super cute. I'm not going to get it. I think it was available in a box before. Anyway, maybe if it was, if you've tried it, let me know, because I am intrigued by it. Um... Immunicology. I haven't tried this Immunicology product, but they are super high end, super sustainable. Their website is really impressive as far as what they do to make sure that they're using great ingredients. And not only that, but being good to where their ingredients are taken from and the people in the region. It, it's absolutely amazing and it's no wonder the price point is so high on their products because of all they do outside of creating their products see okay here now this picture this is the night the C, the nightingale's remedies cbd relief cream this is what i purchased before 
see and so that picture is either old or something's going on funny here i think this picture is old i don't know but here the description says hemp or leaf green that would be a question for the your questions answered thread on the community forum so definitely make sure you know what you're getting when if you're interested in that product the cbd one worked great on my friend's knees knee pain The Mother Dirt Stuff, This is uh, these are products that have really, really plant-based ingredients. Um, so the only thing I just I want to point out is that the cleanser is good for two months and the shampoo and moisturizer six months. So if you use it and you get it, uh, use it up right away. That's not an unreasonable amount of time to use something. But these are incredibly natural ingredients. It's amazing. It's amazing. I've been curious about their products ever since I've joined. They, this little bundle shows up once in a while in sales. Um, oh, here's a little Sonage. Anyway, yeah, I, try, I did try their, oh, here, the Luminez Vitamin Rich Cream. It was a good cream for dry skin. I have dry skin, so the rich creams are good for dry skin. It was nice. It was nice. It wasn't like blow my mind fantastic, but it was nice. Okay, so Strange Bird is a small female owned new company as well as Victoria Land, a newer female owned company. I just wanted to point that out. That's what I know about those brands. I don't know anything about the particular products available though. I have the, I have a different duo of this, the Ciate London uh, Glitter Flip, and they are novel. They're very, very glittery. Uh, when you put them on and you press your lips together, it is sparkly, like crazy sparkly. I felt it like it could get a little cakey and it could go on kind of thick and maybe get crumbly. Um, not terribly so, but there was something a little bit like like that when I wore them the couple of times. If I could go back, I wouldn't have gotten them because I don't wear them. They are not a practical lipstick. They're for, you know, New Year's parties or if that's your kind of style or personality. Um, maybe when I was a lot younger, I might have been into wearing something like that more frequently. But this is a female owned uh, company and it is made in Israel. That's all I know. Malak 33. Air NYC, they're a clean company from New York. I used a face wash of theirs that I did not like at first and it grew on me. I ended up really liking it by the end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing much more that I have anything to say about. I will, I'm sure, once we get to the out-of-stock portion. Um, I already talked about what I, my thoughts on clothes and hair tools and stuff. I'm just slowly scrolling, like I said earlier, so that if you're wanting to see everything that's available, you at least get an opportunity to see. Wow, I'm really scrolling. I feel like there's a lot available in this sale. I, was, I had this in my cart. I think this is super pretty. I think my husband would like it too. But 
again, just don't want to take the gamble on the close. But again, people seem to be having really good luck with the clothes that are available. Okay, now we're seeing a lot of the clothes. A lot of it looks really, really cute. Keep, uh, yeah, if, if you are curious about any of the clothes, I do suggest going on the forum and asking in one of those threads what people think about them because people are talking, like I said, about the, about the clothes in the forum. Okay, here we are. These are the out of stocks, the currently out of stock products. The Maddie patch, some people say that they work really, really well on all pimples. I think they work great on pimples that have a white head that are ready to come out. And it is pretty amazing what they do. They don't work on the deep down ones for me personally. Um, this Neogen product, I think, is one of the ones that didn't have the better reviews. Go ahead and double check. Uh, let's see. Milk makeup, you know, there are a few products like this in this sale, and if you want one, you just kind of got to pick which one you think you'll like best based on reviews you find on Sephora. Um, these are interesting. I guess you wear them overnight so that, you know, if you frown a lot in your sleep, you don't wake up with a forehead wrinkle. I don't know. I can't really... Yeah, smooth out wrinkles caused by sleeping on your side, and this one goes on your forehead I think these are interesting I can see how they could work in principle if you don't want to wake up with those wrinkles from being on your side especially here is the cleavage one especially this one I could use this I get those neck those cleavage wrinkles the one right down the middle that just looks great when you have a low cut shirt um, okay people really really like these these pads they just love them good things said about these all around they were founded by the or they're created by the Nasif MD guide the guy in that show botched I think it is people love those uh, there's dime again this had great reviews I don't know about on their website but people are saying good things on the forum um, Jouet made one of my favorite I think my favorite so far night sleeping conditioning lip treatment, or it was actually like you're, uh, uh, something that you're supposed to use throughout the day. Um, it was just so good. And this looks really lovely and I had it in my cart, but I just don't need another thing like this, even though it's probably amazing if it's anything like that um, other lip treatment that I had. This is people have said, I think it's the same formula as the Urban Decay All Nighter, I think. One of the popular ones. I, I want to say it's that one. Oh gosh. I felt confident clicking on it. Um, anyway, it's made in the same lab and it's the same, same formula as I believe that one. Uh, <clears throat> this being over only $3 off, I think that this is not a good deal and somebody on the forum also kind of reaffirmed it like if you have like if you really need to scrub off some calluses and get your feet looking nice this is not gonna do the trick but if you yeah they did anyway I just don't think that this is worth it I also this is the acai which is this one is an okay scent. It smells floral with the citrus, citrusy scent to it too. Um, I have the uh, cream, the actual the, the lotion, um, body lotion in that scent, and that's what it smells like. It is fast absorbing. Um, it doesn't smell like berry or acai to me at all, uh, but it's a good scent. It's not my favorite. I don't know. I, I wouldn't get these. They're out of stock, so <laughs> um, some people, a lot of people must disagree with me. I also didn't like the Boom Boom Cream, um, which 
I'm in the minority there too. It's fast absorbing. The smell is very, very strong and it is kind of like a nice tropical smell, but it's very strong and it lasts a long time and it you just kind of get sick of it smelling it. I did. I am wearing these socks right now and they're very warm, very cozy, very soft and they are doing the trick for me this winter especially. And uh, yeah, I do like them. I like them a lot. I talked about Sunday Riley. I've talked a lot about the Voir hair care. I think this one might have really good reviews. I actually, I forgot. I bought this. I have this in my stash. Seeing it now just reminded me. Huh, I should try it. Should have tried it before making this video. Sorry about that, everybody. <clears throat> okay, I haven't used any of that stuff. I've used this. It is a very uh, thick moisturizer. I wouldn't use this if you have oily skin. They have a mattifying moisturizer from Grown Alchemist that looks very similar. I would get that if you have oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this one. It's very rich and um, yeah, it's for drier skin, I would say for sure. Um, mm, I don't know. I just did a review on their Sunpar Glamour Shot, which is one of those transparent foundations, um, but I don't know anything about this one. It's This is for blemishes. Okay, here it is, the Unhide Blanket. I actually, after seeing the craze over it, I undid mine. I had mine in my gift pile stash. And it is very, very soft. It's supposed to feel like chinchilla fur. It's supposed to be fake chinchilla. And chinchilla is the softest animal I have ever had the pleasure of petting. And it is a very, very soft, cozy, warm blanket. It's very, very nice. I don't know that, you know, it's the craze is a little um, intense, but it is a very, very nice throw. It's really lovely. <laughs> I distinctly remember a couple people saying that this wasn't good uh, but that was on the forum a sale or two ago so I can't recreate that um, here's more truffle therapy stuff from Skin & Co. I was tempted to get this but I have plenty of skincare stuff to try I really don't need much I really don't need anything I really should just dump my cart and call it a day but that just wouldn't make sense in general if I did that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I have this in the shade Work, W-E-R-K, and I demoed it in um, the winter add-ons, the beginning of the winter add-ons product review video, and it's, it's a decent lip, lip and cheek stain, cream lip and cheek stain goes on lovely and works well. I only saw one person say anything about this and she did not like it at all. And I can't remember why and it was in the forum um, last sale, last add on sale. Okay, this was available in a box and I got it and I actually kind of find the material to be a lot stiffer I was really not terribly impressed by this robe. I wanted it to be more soft and kind of flowy. It's kind of stiff, maybe after some more um, washes, but see, it's 100% polyester, so that might give you kind of an idea of what I'm talking about. It didn't have, I, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I wear it, but I didn't love it. More milk talked about that okay Let's see oh I really looked into this and Tati did talk about it in a video and let's not talk about Tati what's going on with her but Tati um, in the video she talked about it she said it was nice but she was like, as far as, you know, do you need to run out and get it? No. There are other sprays like it um, that do the same thing for cheaper. It's got a pretty bottle. It's got a nice spray. But she didn't, 
it was helpful for me to decide like, okay, I have enough setting sprays. I don't need to go and purchase this one too. There are other videos where people are using it and testing it and it does seem like a really lovely dewy setting spray though. So if you have oily skin, you know, in general, I wouldn't go for dewy setting sprays, but it does leave a nice little glow on people's faces. Um, Corez, I see them at TJ Maxx a lot. I haven't tried the shower gel, but I have tried their body butter. I'll talk about it when we get there. This didn't have the greatest reviews. I was actually kind of surprised, this Living Proof Blowout Spray. A lot of people were saying that it uh, is a lot like hairspray and that when you put it on, it's kind of stiff and crunchy to work with. So, you know, a lot of products, though, there's a lot of just learning how they're supposed to be used. And I feel like when I don't like a product, a lot of times it could be that I just didn't know how I was supposed to be using it. And that could be, it could be due to that with this product. I have their, uh, let's see. Oh, the scent isn't the same description. I have their silver body uh, butter. Nope. Nope. Not body butter. Body, body cream. Um, and it has, <clears throat> it has sandalwood. Oh, this one has patchouli. So I, I bet you, even though this says Persian rose, I bet you this smells more like patchouli than rose. I would bet a lot of money actually. So if you're getting this, expect it to be very musky. I want to say I remember a lot of people having issues with this not working well. This Kenzie shaver. Some people spoke up and said theirs was fine, but I think a lot of people said theirs didn't work right. The Here it is, the Cora's Body Butter. It is an amazing body butter. I wanted to point out it has a formaldehyde releaser in it. Um, it's a lovely body butter though. It works so well. I used it before I saw that and that's just an ingredient I avoid for myself so I don't get it anymore, but it really works. It is a body butter. It takes time to absorb, but it makes your skin really, really soft. Okay, we are Paradox. I used a different shampoo and conditioner from them, and I really did like it. It smelled very herbal and botanical, spa-like. Um, I love the company. They're in Ireland. They're in Ireland? United Kingdom, it says here. I believe they're Ireland. Uh, and one of the things I just really love about them, too, is... This is aluminum. They make a point of using as little plastic as possible and they're sustainable. So they're sustainable, they're organic, cruelty free, um, all of that. And yeah, I do like them. I use their hair mask and their hair mask I wasn't terribly impressed with, but I would say look into them. I do think that they have some of their products available at Ulta. I don't know that they have this one though. Yeah, the, the Supernatural was what I used from um, them. Yeah, this is a different shampoo. This is, that was the one. Oh, and it had good reviews. That was the one that I had used that I did like. Uh, but it doesn't look like this particular one's um, available on Ulta. But hopefully these are also good. I wonder what the difference is. Anyway, fan. I'm a fan of what this company is about. Oribe. I got the coveted dry shampoo, and I'm going to quote somebody else who also had this happen to them, but she said it felt like she was just sent a can of air. That's how I felt. It was like a can of air. It didn't do anything at all for me. Um, I ended up giving it away to like a college student and that I, I work at a university. I gave it away to a college student who is so grateful, grateful, but, um, I, uh, did not, I did not like it. I didn't like it at all. 
Uh, so I don't tend to want to try other products of theirs. Again, I'm in the minority there. And then here are all the clothes. Wow, the clothes are really... I'm, I, and now I'm just kind of tempted to start looking into the clothes, but I am one of those people who will get something and just think I look god-awful in it. And I probably don't. It's probably just my low self-esteem talking, but... Yeah, look at that. All this, all these clothes that are out of stock. That's, that's nice to see. Oh, somebody, I do remember somebody pointing out these joggers and saying they're the most, the most comfortable pants that they have ever worn. That's it. We're at the end. All right. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I do uh, videos like this for every add-on and edit sale, and I will try to start doing them for all of the other sales. FabFitFun is doing more and more sales in between. Uh, if I hope you have a wonderful day and you're staying safe and sane and healthy during this time, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.